So Xiaomi just dropped three phones from their K40 series and we've just reviewed the K40 base variant and right now we have the K40 Pro. This is the middle variant from the series and of course the higher variant being the K40 Pro Plus. It's just an upgrade on the camera having 108 MP, this one having just a 64 camera. So are you excited? Come on, join me. Let's unbox this. So hi guys, I'm Mitch Dobolo 2 of Xiaomi Review and welcome back to my channel. We have unboxed the Redmi K40 Pro and I can say that it's really, really nice. And of course, checking the design, this is the color black and it's not just any ordinary black color. And you can see some sort of a water stain design on this phone, making it look so nice, it's so gradient from gray to black, it's really another masterpiece from Redmi. But of course, my favorite color would be this one from this series. Now this phone comes with a Snapdragon 888, which is a five nanometer chipset. It also is a 5G capable processor. It also sports the Adreno 660 as its main GPU. Now this phone also comes in three color. You have the black, the white, and of course the Aurora being one of my favorite colors of all time. Then it also comes in three variants. You either go for the 628 gig, the 828 gig, or the 8256 gig. 
What is your choice? Then of course, how can we forget to ask Antutu for a score and a rating on its benchmark? It gave it a near eclipsing 700,000 points, which I, right now I just scored a 698. It's just a little bit more and we'll be eclipsing the 700 mark. This is such an achievement for Redmi being another flagship killer. Now checking Slingshot Extreme on 3 mark, it gave it a 3,800 points. And checking DRM info, we got a level one wideband security level for this phone, which means you can watch all you want HD on Netflix. And this phone comes with a 6.67, 120 hertz of screen refresh rate AMOLED display. And you heard it right, it's an AMOLED display. It really is something, the refresh rate is really high. It also comes with a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection up front, then a Corning Gorilla Glass back together with an aluminum frame. The resolution on this phone is a 1080 by 2400. You can watch up to 2K display on this phone. So watching some YouTube videos on this phone, I kick it up to 2K display and I can say that it's really nice. The viewing angle is nice. The colors are punchy. The black is blacker. And of course, what more can I say except that punch hole in my screen. Green. And K-Series is known for their pop-up cameras. Like I told you in the K40 review, I really miss that pop-up camera. It's really the trademark on this phone, the K-Series of Redmi, taking away that pop-up camera and of course putting that uh, punch hole back on this screen makes it no different from the Redmi Note series. I'm not really happy with the way the Xiaomi took away that uh, pop-up camera and I can say I don't like that punch hole on this screen. Now playing Call of Duty on this phone, I can kick all the settings up to the highest and I can see the experience is nice. Uh, the screen is very very responsive and I can see the 120Hz screen refresh rate just kick in and I can feel it's a lot, lot smoother. And giving it a surround stereo speaker, I can see the gaming experience is very, very immersive. Now right now, how about let's talk about the camera on this phone. It has a 64MP aperture 1.9 wide angle lens and together with the 8 MP ultra wide lens and your 5 MP macro lens this is a triple camera setup together with a 20 MP front camera come on let's check out some shots Now, taking some outdoor shot, it's really, really nice. The colors are punchy and I can say that it's really, really smooth. And using the night mode on this camera, I can say taking night shot is a lot, lot better. Now, checking some selfie shots from this phone. I can say that bright outdoors is really nice. I cannot say anything more, but it's just punchy. The camera is really, really performing great. And of course, uh, some low light indoor shot, it's also, it's great. And of course, you can record this up to 8K and 30 FPS. Check out some videos from the front camera. Now the rear camera can take some really, really nice video. You can see the videos from that rear camera is really, really nice. It's punchy, it's sharp. So guys, this is how it looks like when you're vlogging using the Redmi K40 Pro. Check it out.
Now the video from this front camera seems to be a little bit better from that of the K40. It's a little bit more sharper and a little bit more better. Now this phone comes with a Wi-Fi 6 and a Bluetooth 5.2 capability except that the fingerprint scanner is still on the side. Check this out. It's pretty responsive, but I wish it was an in-screen fingerprint scanner. This phone packs a 4,520mAh of battery sporting up to 33 watts of fast charging. I drained the battery down to 16% and charged it back up to 100 and I just finished it in just 52 minutes. And based on my watt meter, it ran up to 32 watts, which is almost near 33 watts. And asking PC Mark for its screen on time for its battery test, it gave it a 14 hours and 12 minutes, which is really not bad for a Snapdragon 888 chipset. And now guys, we've already covered the Redmi K40 Pro, and this one is just a little bit lower than that of the K40 Pro Plus on the camera division. And what can you say about this phone? I can say that it's really nice. It's captivating. The specs is good. Everything is good. Except for me, the pop-up camera is missing. That's probably my only complaint. And of course, I wish that the side fingerprint scanner was in screen. So what are your thoughts? Share it on the comment section below and let's have a small discussion and see what is your favorite on this phone. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future reviews from this channel. So I have to catch you on the next one.